the mining and community consultation process in South Africa. What does the law say about consultation and consent? Section 10 of the Minerals and Petroleum Resources Development Act, MPRDA, says the mining right applicant must consult with interested and affected parties, also known as IAPs. These consultations are aimed at informing IAPs about the impact of future prospecting and mining activities, allowing IAPs to make a full and informed decision about their land rights, and allowing IAPs to tell the mining company what they want out of the project. The Interim Protection of Informal Land Rights Act, IPILRA, stipulates that informal land rights cannot be deprived without consent. However, this is subject to the Expropriation Act. Consent must be obtained from the individuals or communities whose land rights will be directly affected by mining. Who should be consulted? Landowners, informal land right holders, lawful land occupiers, land claimants, traditional authorities and the Department of Land Affairs need to be consulted. How should consultation be conducted and consent gained? All consultations must be meaningful. The prospecting or mining rights applicant must facilitate consultations with IAPs in good faith, provide IAPs with all the relevant information to make an informed decision and give all parties sufficient opportunity to comment. Consent must be given before any mining begins and should be obtained throughout the life cycle of the mining operation. Thank you for watching. We hope this video helps you understand your rights regarding mining and the community consultation process in South Africa.